These are the 11 small micro habits that completely changed my life when I implemented them. When it comes to being more productive, more motivated, more disciplined, and just overall got me leveling up. So the goal of a micro habit is to get a really huge benefit or multiple benefits from just doing one small thing. Now, all of these habits are super beneficial, but there are actually some that link together and work really, really well in unison. So when we put these together, we get some huge benefits. Now, I didn't implement all these habits all at once, but over time, they all came together and on honestly completely changed my life. Number one, my weekly reflection. I spent a lot of time doing daily journaling and going through different methods, different prompts and experimenting with what I was actually trying to achieve by doing it. And I am actually at the point where I feel like I can actually get some of the benefits I'm looking for through daily journaling by doing my weekly reflection. So on a Sunday, I will sit down and I will go through my week, the good, the bad and the ugly. And I will actually come together with a game plan for how I want the coming week to look. So it's kind of like a 50% reflection, 50% setting the tone for the week to come. I do feel like being in the small habit of writing down how I'm feeling and what's going on around me can really, really help me digest things quicker, but also gives me the opportunity to just be so much more grateful for things as well. Number two, mentality reset. Now, I don't know about you, but life can be super frustrating and upsetting at times. Things can go wrong or problems can easily appear. And I will admit to being quite reactive to that at times. Things can very easily ruin my day and I can overthink the tiniest of details. So I have a short mentality reset, I like to call it, which I'm in the habit of using when I need it. It's basically a checklist on my phone that is a list of things that I need to mentally walk myself through to get myself back to the position where I'm feeling mentally my best. There are some questions in there that I have to ask myself. There's some mental frames that I have to walk myself through and there's some decent songs in there too. Now I can honestly hand on my heart say that even at my worst, most stressful, most overwhelmed, most upset times, I have never had a position where my mentality reset hasn't got me feeling back insanely happy and completely unbothered about whatever was bothering me before. Number three, realistic to-do lists. Now I absolutely love a to-do list. I use them in my personal life every day. I use them in my business life every day, but I previously used to be, let's say a little bit too optimistic with what I would actually put on my to-do list. I would put so many things on that list that I would never be able to get done on a day. And it just left me feeling so behind and like everything was getting on top of me. And then I got into the habit of just putting a few small things on my to-do list game changing. I even went as far as intentionally not putting enough on them because then I was always ticking things off every day. And I was also able to feel more ahead and able to add things as I went along as well. This was honestly absolutely game changing in terms of how productive I feel, but also how much more motivated I am throughout the day too. Number four, start with the small things first. I think contrary to how most people profess you should start your day, you know, the usual methods of starting with the biggest tasks first and attacking those big tasks first. I honestly feel like starting small and building my way up to the big things helps me build momentum, but also helps with that sense of accomplishment so much quicker. If I start with the big tasks first, it often leaves me feeling really mentally drained and also a little bit bogged down, which is not how I want to feel first thing on my morning. But if I start with the really quick things that only take me say like five minutes to do, I can create a lot more momentum in that day. Then my productivity just snowballs because I get that positive reinforcement of ticking things off my beloved to-do list quickly and my day just gets going so much quicker. Number five, no notifications on my phone. I have all my notifications turned off on my phone. No messages, no social media, no emails, literally nothing can pop up with a notification. This has been huge for avoiding distraction and getting so much more done with my day. I previously would get so distracted by things popping up on my phone. For a period of time, I tried to get into the habit of, you know, not going on my phone at certain times or not allowing myself to sort of tap on something as it popped up, but I would always find myself slipping and just getting so distracted from whatever it is I was actually meant to be doing. Turning off all my notifications was kind of scary at first, but honestly, I don't miss anything. I'm not out of the loop on anything. And now I'm so much more focused. Number six, deleting apps off my phone. I have deleted the vast majority of apps that I previously had on my phone. We have to remember that these apps, especially social media, are designed to hold our attention and to keep us scrolling. They are literally designed to steal our time and I was so happily giving it to them. Though now anything that is not of use to me is gone. And even the apps that I actually use on a daily basis, I just delete every single night before I go to bed. I know that this sounds crazy, but I save myself so many hours by just deleting them and re-downloading them whenever I need them or whenever I want to use them or whenever I have a little bit of spare time. If I have TikTok on my phone, I will just routinely go through that every single day. 
wasting my time and derailing my day. So now I only download it when I've finished all my work and I have some spare time and when I want to use it, I do not let it use me anymore. The 30 seconds it takes me to re-download it and then delete it after I've finished using it literally saves me hours each week. Number seven, no phone in bed. My bedroom is my sanctuary and I have a no phone rule in my bedroom with absolutely no exceptions. This was another huge part of my day that I was wasting so much time scrolling. So many nights I would look at the time and it was 1 a.m. and I had literally wasted hours just looking at my phone, which led me getting less sleep, which led me to be less productive, which led me to be a little bit more irritable the next day. For so long, I avoided keeping my phone out of my bedroom because I need an alarm. So I simply bought myself an alarm clock. So there's literally no excuse anymore. And I honestly get to bed three hours earlier every single day now, simply because my phone's outside my bedroom. Number eight, sleeping with a fan on. I know this one sounds a little bit strange, but I have been on a bit of a sleep improvement journey for a little while now. I think once I started reading about how much our sleep affects our physical health and our mental well-being, it made me put a little bit more time and effort into prioritizing it. One key thing that improves our sleep is keeping our room nice and cool. I can't actually remember what the temperature should be, but basically not hot. So I started putting a fan on each night and it has really made a difference. Yes, a fan doesn't actually lower the temperature in your room, but it can help your room feel a little bit cooler or a little bit less hot like mine normally bloody does. I wake up so much less in the night now and it also helps drain some of the noise from the busy street that I live on. Number nine, drinking water when I wake up. I feel like I always knew water was important. I mean, we literally need it to survive. But until I started prioritizing it as soon as I woke up, I don't think I really saw the benefits. I generally go to the gym about two hours after I wake up, but previously I would just sort of get up and go straight away. But then I made myself get into the habit of drinking at least 500 mils or a couple of decent sized glasses before I go as soon as I woke up. And my workouts are way better now. I genuinely feel so much stronger and I can actually notice a difference in how full my muscles feel. Number 10, no coffee as soon as I wake up. Another thing I've changed about my morning is not having my coffee as soon as I wake up. I used to absolutely love rolling out of bed and getting myself a coffee straight away. I mean, it just seems like the most natural thing to do, right? But I feel like giving myself one to two hours of just waking up naturally has been so much more beneficial now. I allow myself and my mind to get ready calmly instead of slapping myself in the face with a strong coffee and getting my day going. And because I'm sleeping so much better because of the less time I'm spending scrolling on my phone, I don't actually even feel the need to have a coffee as soon as I wake up because I'm waking up so much more energized because I've slept well. Number 11, no caffeine late in the day. The amount of hours I've spent rolling around my bed wondering why I can't fall asleep is honestly ridiculous. I absolutely love caffeine and the high it gives me, but I don't need that when I'm trying to sleep. I used to have no understanding of how long things actually last in your system. Cappuccinos with the girls at 7 p.m. was probably not my finest idea. Caffeine really affects me and completely ruins my sleep if I have it too late in the day. So now I give myself a little bit of a curfew. I can only have caffeine up until lunchtime or early afternoon. I really have hope that this video was helpful and gives you some ideas on the small habits that you can start implementing that will give you really big benefits. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.